Hey, what's up everyone? Today, we're just gonna jump right into it. I got five budget-friendly headphones under $200. Ian in here from Udroid Mania, so let's do this. Now I'm showing you these in the order that I like the most. For all of them, I rank battery, build, sound, and comfort. Starting with the E7 Pro by Cohen, and I should tell you that these were sent out to me for review. I've been using these for the last few days, and I learned that I really, really like these budget-friendly headphones. I mean, for starters, there's a hard shell case included. Anyway, I travel a lot sometimes, so I need it because I like to keep my stuff in good shape. So, yup, it matters to me and influences the order of what you'll see today. These have a premium look and feel in the hand, they sound even better, and the battery lasts about 30 hours. These headphones have a nice balanced sound with decent highs and mids. They don't give you the most bass out of all that you'll see today, but they definitely sound good. Playback controls are located all on the right ear cup, which happens to be plush and soft to the touch. Pairing is really easy, just like most Bluetooth devices. Lastly, these headphones also have active noise canceling, which I plan to test later this month when I head to Costa Rica, so make sure that you tune in for part two. Next up, we have the AKG N60s. These are the most expensive out of the bunch today. That is unless you caught the bundle deal with the Samsung Galaxy Note 9. They made the list though because you can't beat free. So the packaging here seems pretty nice. These also have active noise canceling and they've got a flat foldable design which makes them easy to travel with. Inside, you'll find a nice carrying pouch. While it's not the most protective in the world, it's certainly better than nothing. And I like the color and material. There's some other stuff here, but you're probably not going to use that anyway. I do find that these headphones seem to be rather small, and I was hoping for something over the ear. But anyway, here's what I like. The braided cables, the soft leather cups, the button placements, and the expandability of the headband. There's no creaking or popping sound here. These don't feel cheap at all, which is nice. So for free, they're definitely worth the try. Plus, I mean, these have got to sound better than the AKG earbuds, right? So for these reasons, they make the cut, and I'll be putting them to the test. Next, we have the Brave and Premium series. Now I know that you've seen these on the channel before, but I like them and I still use them. I didn't know this brand before trying them, but I'm glad that I did. Out of all the headphones I have, these are my go-to when I don't want to worry about battery life. These things last forever. I like the hard shell case included here. It's very protective and sturdy. Inside the case, there's nothing that you don't expect, so we're moving on. When it comes to the overall build quality of these headphones, I would say that they're my least favorite out of the bunch, but they've got other qualities that make up for it. These have a pretty decent sound stage, and they do get pretty loud. I like the fact that you can use gestures on the right ear cup to control your music, and the fact that they don't take up much space. Today, I'm just giving you a few of the reasons why I like these headphones, but given that these have been out for a little while now, you can probably catch a pretty good deal on them. I'll have a link down below in case you're interested. So make sure that you tune into part two so you can know why these were number three. Power on. Connected. These next headphones have been my favorite for a long time, and they still sit on my desk today. For me, the Gag NO5s tick all the boxes except playback time. I know me, personally, I could use a little bit more than 14 hours. Everything you see here is pretty basic, I know, but you get everything that you need, and when you hear these, it definitely makes up for anything that you're missing. If you're looking for headphones that are affordable and decent in terms of build quality and price, then you'll definitely want to check out the NO5s. Okay, lastly, I've got the Empow Bluetooth headphones. I've had these for a while, and I mean, they are the Amazon best-selling headphones, so I had to. They sound okay, the build is okay, but the price is awesome. So I couldn't resist seeing what all the fuss was about. But as far as today goes, I'm spending my money on Cohen, and you'll have to watch part two to find out why. Okay, so there you have it. I've got all the links down below in case you see something that you like. If you've enjoyed today's video, do leave a thumbs up. And if you're new here, subscribe before you go. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you in my next one.